a sharp eye from a passing motorist noticed water gushing from the front of this building. It didn't take long for them to realize that the Butte Emergency Food Bank was going through an emergency of its own. Thank God that we did that because we were closed on Monday, so it's a good thing we caught it on Sunday that because uh, it could have been a real, a real mess. It was just before 7 o'clock in the evening on January 14th when the food bank staff was informed that a water pipe break occurred in the building just off of 2nd Street. The office was closed at the time and would likely have remained closed on Monday due to Martin Luther King Day. Staff was glad they were informed of the leak on Sunday because water had already covered the front half of the building. But it was already to the warehouse, so if it had gone all night, it would have been through the whole building. So yeah, it was pretty traumatic. <laughs> Most of the water was contained to the front part of the building where the computers and office equipment are kept. Thanks to all the volunteers that work here, we got all the furniture and everything moved, all the computers, everything taken apart and moved everything in our warehouse and we have our our main area open back up that people can get their food in. Repairs are being made to the front office and none of the food was damaged in the leak. We're back in business and things are going pretty normal. Uh, people are getting their food and, and, uh, and that's the important thing that we can go ahead and take care of the clients. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.